Hi, it's Julie from Simply Notable, and today we're going to start our learning project we've been waiting for about how to spin yarn on a drop spindle from fiber. So I have a braid of fiber here, and oftentimes you'll find when you buy fiber that it comes in a braid like this. This is actually combed top that's been braided to keep it nice and neat. On one side, if you try to pull, you'll find that nothing much happens. On the other side, if you give a little pull, you'll see that you can unzip the fiber. You don't want to pull too hard because you don't want to pull it apart, but you can undo the fiber this way fairly easily. So we're going to undo our braid and then we're going to prepare it for spinning. Fiber that sat in a braid for a while tends to get a little compacted. So we're going to work on loosening it up and getting it ready to spin. So once we open it up, we have all this beautiful fiber freed from its little braid <laughs> and it's ready to, to prepare. So what we're going to do is we're going to find a place, oh, six inches or so from the end, where we can separate it into half. And we're going to separate and pull apart our fiber into two halves. This doesn't need to be exact. Close is good enough. We just want to separate it in order to have two halves of the same fiber to spin with. That way, when we spin each half separately, we can ply them together. And don't be too worried if you get a little stragglers, but do try to keep your fiber clean. Don't let it drag on the ground. That's why I have this little basket. And what I do once I've got my two separate pieces is I just very loosely around my hand roll them up into a ball as if I'm winding yarn but loosely enough to keep it corralled but not enough to give any real tension on it and get yourself a little basket or a bowl or something that you can put your fiber in to keep it safe so it doesn't get dirty and pick up bits of dirt or junk off the off the ground, especially if, like me, you're spinning out on your patio and you have little bits of dried leaves and such laying around. The fiber that I'm using is a Polworth Silk Blend. You can use any fiber you like. Um, I do recommend, for the very first time, some kind of wool, and most especially the easiest one is Blue Face Leicester because it has a nice long staple of four to five inches. Now, Polworth is a little shorter. You can see if I pull out a piece of it, it's more like around three inches, but that's okay. It's going to work just fine for our purposes. We're going to start with a process calling, called um, Park and Draft, and next we'll prepare our spindle for spinning. So, comb top that's been in a braid tends to get compacted. If you feel like you're, the, or you can kind of test yours to see how it is by just giving it a little tug, you need your hands to be further apart than the staple of your fiber. So you can see that my hands are a little closer than the three inches long that this fiber is. So it's not drafting at all. The process of drafting is when you pull fiber apart. When I take my hands further than the three inches, you can see I'm able to pull the fiber apart. It loosens it. And makes it move a little more freely. Now this fiber, you can see, after being drafted, is airier. And when I'm spinning, it's going to spin, it, it's going to draft much easier for spinning. 
it's going to come apart real easy or thin itself out real easy for spinning. So if you feel like your fiber is compacted, go ahead and give it a little what we call pre-drafting. And to do that, keep your hands further apart than the length of the staple and just give it just short little pulls. Move just an inch or so at a time to continue to do that. And you can see the difference in that fiber that I pre-drafted and the fiber that is that hasn't been pre-drafted. This will be harder to spin at first.